Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, for another solo ranked whatever. The name doesn't matter. I'm going to explain my decision making. As you might be knowing, I solo queued and I have been solo queuing for a little while uh, around the start of the season. And this was an absolute banger of a game that I didn't get a chance to post. So today, I'd like to go over my decision making, uh, maybe see some parts that I could improve on. We'll see. I was playing Seer in this situation. I think it's a great legend for solo carrying. I've, I've said so in many videos recently. I think it's just a great legend overall who, despite being good, isn't getting that high of a pick rate. Probably because nobody likes to play overpowered legends. Yeah, I don't, I don't get it either. It doesn't make sense. But we're going to be watching that, and I'm going to go over my decision making. So it's going to be great. I'm picking out Arfi and Massive here. Because I want, like, mid to close range. I want to be able to finish up my fights. And be chilling. Uh, when it comes to... Uh, also, if you guys haven't already, make sure to check out the off-stream podcast after this video is done. Uh, I'll link it in the description. You can check it out on Spotify. It's on Anchor. It's on Facebook as well, actually. Um, just go check it out. It's a really good podcast. I had PvP on. We talked about, uh, you know, whether pros are ruining Apex or not. Because people have been talking about that for such a long time. I figured we'd actually get a pro in there in this Gelsi situation. He dropped, he dropped some absolute gems about... Uh, the whole debate, uh, and I really recommend that anyone who is remotely interested in the Apex community uh, gives it a listen. If you guys want to be to bring other guests on, let me know as well because we. I'm actually after the, after we're done with this video today, that we are, after I'm done recording this video today, I'm actually gonna get them on. So anyway, so what's happening here? Let's uh, that's that's enough of the promoting. So what's happening now is we I'm walking up here. Obviously my teammates aren't really here, but I I saw these in my scan. I ping them and I start shooting a little bit. So looking for a little bit of entry damage here. Make ourselves known. It's ranked. It's plat two. I want to take a fight, so we do just that. We head up. I grab a little bit of extra loot as I wait for them to come back. They can go pretty fast thanks to the uh, zip rails, and I start going on the right side here. The right side is a deliberate choice because there's no. I don't know the angle super well, but I know there's no line of sight for me to run here. And even better, we're getting the getting the run up here, which is pretty solid. So I get to walk up here. And close the gap a little bit. These guys are on the high ground. So it's a bit hard for me to approach this. If they're just going to stay in the back. I'm just looking for a little bit of energy damage again. I only have a stock, really. And I'm actually a little bit cut off from my team here. So if they would like to. If they can single me out or realize that I'm a solo player. They might just push me. Especially since they don't have a white armor. And they do just that. They push up. I walk behind this cover so I can like eliminate that. Because if I'm on a low ground there, he's going to kill me. Uh, especially seeing as my teammates are still all the way like on the left. So I have to do that. I climb up here to try to like go for a... I guess this was a style play, really. Could've just gone for the shots here. Let's try my best to stay alive, but also dish out a little bit of damage. Trade it, I can Q, which I do. He's a reset the... Uh, reset his battery there that he wants to pop. Other guy dies, and then I go for another style point kill. Uh, kind of <laughs> not working out there. Because you really don't want to get knocked in general in ranked and whatnot, because you will get third partied. And I think there was a third party coming in as well. So I quickly grab an armor here. I, f I should be looking around. We'll see. I've been playing the car a lot. There they are. Uh, I've been playing with the car a lot more recently. Absolutely goated weapon. I cannot recommend it enough. Uh, I've been sleeping on it for so long. But objectively, it's been the, like one of the best weapons since it came out. It's just nobody ran it because they didn't really know that recall. But once they figure out the recall, it's super good. So like, if you want to get one tip out of this whole video, that's it. So I'm, they actually gave me a chance to reset here. My teammates are kind of like in the back. But this team will probably push us, so we just gotta kind of wait. I'm looking for my loot. Top myself up. We just came straight out of the... Came straight out of uh, the, the our, our drop spot, so we don't really have that much, especially coming out of a fight. I end up backing up here. I want to take, like, high ground, look for my loot. I don't really have that much to my name at the moment, and... This is also, like, a drawn-out fight at this point. You know it's gonna probably be a third party if you spend too much time here. You start getting knocked or whatever, especially because I have the car out of the mass is really hard. So I see the jump pad here and I decide I might want to take like the high ground on a little pillar here if it lets me. Because then I get a cool off angle and I'll be able to make something happen. And what happens is the team on the, the overstayed here ended up having overstayed because they get a little bit of pressure from the side. Oh wait, no, no, never mind. <laughs> I don't know why the back up didn't make sense. Wait, no, there wasn't. I don't know. It's really weird. There was pressure from the side. That is a different team. Yeah, yeah, like I was confused then, I'm confused now. I was talking about some other stuff <laughs> with chat, but it's like, I think for sure there's one team there, and there's one team there. There's like two different teams. So it's very confusing the way they're doing it. What a way to play right now. Very solid beam. 
aim punch uh, screwed me up there. I just went. I went back there to hold because I knew that I knew Pathfinder was gonna push. I went back there to hold him if he would like wide swing. Then he's playing with cover, putting a little bit of damage in at a time, not fully committing to the spray too much. Got a nice opening knock there, cancelled the heal. Apparently that was not intentional. And he, uh, the Octane is padding or making a pad for Pathfinder to escape there. So the goal here is to survive, and also the push, but mostly to survive. You want to, we want to get kills, but. Gotta be smart about it. So this is also a really weird situation because it's like a crossfire. Like, there's a whole team here for some reason. And there's a whole team here. Or that guy is knocked. It's not a whole team. Uh, on top of that, our teammate's banner is there. So we have to get there. But this team that's the, 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 that was on the right side, they're kind of holding us. So we can't actually go in uh, unless we make some big movement play or whatever. And the Horizon is actually going for it here. So I just follow her lead on this. Yeah, and I just keep like shooting with the sniper. Another team comes from where we dropped initially, so now, you know, this fight has been going on for a few minutes. Uh, the whole server is aware of it. The whole server is on their way to our location. That's a broken moon for you. It is not looking good, but I do get the banner here. I think we do back out here. Because you don't want to stay. I just grab loot because there's no pressure on me. And uh, might as well. I don't think he's going to get to keep any of that loot once we revive. So we just get out of there. It's a very risky zipline, and I thought I would grab onto that, but I didn't. Uh, seeing as the team was so passive, we managed to get away with it, and it's such a good example. So we have been fighting for a long time. It's a dry gulch up here, whatever it's called. Uh, there's also two teams fighting because they just ran in towards the footsteps. So, okay, so this whole video is just going to be this, right? Spoiler alert. There's going to be a lot of these pressure situations. I'm going to try to break it down and explain what I did, what I do. Because all of the, the only reason we came out of this was because we played these situations the right way. We made the right decisions and we stayed alive. Most importantly, that last part. So, moving on, we, uh... You know, I heal up, I try to watch over Horizon, doesn't seem like it was pushing, then I do see that these guys all of a sudden make a, you know, peek here, so I try to lay down a little bit of suppressive fire. It's a bit difficult with a 1x car, it's not the ideal gun for it. Uh, especially at the time I hadn't practiced it that much, I practiced the recoil spread a lot, uh, ever since. And I actually communicate to the Horizon here, I say you have to come back. You have to come back or you have to heal. I'm covering is what I'm saying. Because she cannot stay there. So then... It's continuous. Actually, being ended up being a solid beam. But like, look at my heals. You just... My ammo. Like, everything's just really falling apart here. We're running out of supplies. So we need to back up. We need to get... Her, we want to get Octane up. We need to stabilize. She ends up getting bopped by the Rampage. Now it's just me. And my thoughts. And the silence is deafening. So, I'm just gonna look around with my passive, with my wall hacks. Figure out the best route here. I want to grab that banner if possible. But there is probably a free res here. And I do have Octane's banner. So I could probably bring him in in the, in the meantime. Because if I go straight for the banner, you know, because of how many teams were here. They're not gonna let me get to it. I, I have zero info on, it, on the area. But it's safe to assume they're not gonna let me get it. I put my ult down for extra info. Figure if I can suppress them a little bit. Yeah, they run away. Just scare them off a little bit. If there's anything ranked Apex players hate, which is ironic <laughs> because of how much they die, it is f fights. It's confrontation. They do not want to take a fight if they can avoid it. Again, which doesn't make sense because they do take fights all the time. Yeah, I know. It doesn't make sense. So right now, my, my goal is literally stay alive and lay down damage, hold my angle. Deny, I do have the hot swap in the back here, also have a hot swap on, on the below. But if I leave, keep laying down suppressive damage, this stops them from pushing up, this stops them from pushing my Octane, who only has a white armor. And even better, he paid it forward for Horizon and got the banner, but then he died as well. So I managed to actually grab his banner here, so even though... You know, like, the, the end result ended up being the same. I get a lot of damage at dead side because of the shots. But we were fine. We're out of there. Just gotta pull some movements. Uh, <laughs> use the movement abilities here. Or movement to our best abilities. I turn around because I get shot. Lay down some suppressive fire again. You just gotta, like, put enough damage down. I'm... The, the point isn't to kill him here. The point isn't to trade damage. It's just to stop him. 
Because if I don't deal enough damage, he's just gonna keep running towards me. I don't want to let him do that. And because I did that much damage, they backed up, they had to heal as well. And there's also a lot of teams around them, they can't just run willy-nilly, and I get a free... Uh, I guess I'll say escape to the respawn beacon here. So now, you know, second time's the charm, we'll get him back in. And this has been a team fight, it's been revives, grenades, shots, wipes, everything has been happening around this POI. So you can bet that there's gonna be a lot of teams, either like in, in the general area, or, uh, but even also like, few hundred meters out like everyone's kind of focused on this area of the map yeah like for example that team right there there's just a whole team sitting on the high ground right there uh and waiting for me and they have triple snipers i'm pretty sure so you have to like keep that in mind when you take a big fight obviously people will come to third party but a lot of teams they just do that they just do that they just go and sit in a corner or rather on a building nearby and they wait for you to run out of the fight so they can get free kills. Very common. Again, probably more common in third parties, but you don't you don't see it that often because you probably died in the third party. Or or you stay in one position, you rarely leave that position. So this is good. I don't have a lot of ammo and I'm just focused on getting my teammates loot here, so we start looking. Interesting horizon Q ends up working for us. You have to keep in mind though, I like hand on my heart, I haven't played ranked a lot, I haven't played uh, Broken Moon a lot, so I don't know the angles that well, I don't know the loot or anything that well. Uh, I'm just trying to help my team to the best of my abilities, I've basically only been around this POI. Which I guess is fortunate, because again, it's a mess here, <laughs> it seems to pull this way as well. So this team is just standing here doing nothing really. I'm just laying down damage because I know these are looking our way. Maybe that will turn them off from pushing us. Uh, they don't know this and I hope they don't know this. Like, again, I've said this many times before. If you are in a bad position, you don't want the other team to know. If, you sit, if you're triple sitting in a corner, that's a sign of weakness and you need to play big. Just like in nature, you gotta be a big animal, a big peacock and show your feathers to scare the predators away. But... Uh, but yeah, no, we're just trying to play for angles. I'm trying to get loot for my team. Again, you know, these teams have been sitting around the whole time. Uh, I end up taking a jewel here, which I can. Fermite to force them out of cover. Not the best Fermite. My teammate's actually helping out, so we get the finish. That is huge. Then his teammates are right there. But I have a he really good head glitch here that I'm trying to abuse to the best of my abilities. So we get the finish right there. And that's another reason why the car is so good. Economy, right? Like, even if the DPS was lower, I'd probably use the car. Because unlike- Oh my god, I this side. Because unlike a lot of, um... Weapons. Obviously the car uses two ammo types, which means that... You'll just manage to have ammo, even like if you don't find that much. You still gotta find- If you find a little bit of light, a little bit of heavy, it's better than only finding one of the two. I, it's, it's kind of an obvious thing to say, I know, but like, I genuinely think that it's very underrated. For that reason alone, like, again, if the DPS would be- it's, The DPS is 202, by the way. Um, but if you only had, if the, if it only had like a 190 DPS, maybe 180, it would still be valuable for that, um, for your, your ammo management, for your team economy overall. Super good weapon. Anyways, my teammates are doing damage here on the left side, so I start running up here. I'm just feeling it, feeling on point, feeling we can do something. They're not looking our way, and they got a lot of damage in, or whatever my teammates did. Bit of a wide peak there from me, was hoping that they would be a bit lower. Health-wise, was not expecting this push. And it got tight, but I managed to, you know, quickly reset thanks to that golden armor, which I had intentionally picked, obviously, because we didn't have batteries. Don't know what's happening with the ultimate there. <laughs> it's such a weird bug. Super good call from my teammates here to push this guy. I'm pretty sure it was solo. Um, can get them red armor, some extra loot. Good beam. Like, we're just scrapping, right? This is an absolute, it's an all-out brawl. You have several squads fighting. So we know that our backs here should be safe. We don't know for sure, but it's safe to assume that left side here is going to be too chaotic. We go on the right side. Um, unless, because unless someone walked up behind us, nobody should be playing here. We're not really seeing anyone. There's no resistance, so it works out. Someone could very well have walked up there, but it's... I, I, like, I feel like assuming is a double-edged sword. It helps you predict, but at the same time, sometimes assuming means that you 
like you had a chance to, to like to take a position or whatever but you assume someone was there and you just end up locking the door on yourself like you, you know the, the window's not even the window's wide open but you don't even check all right i like this the, i like the way i approach this i want to just talk about it so obviously that was a beam to begin with but this is a caustic team there's pressure from a lot of teams on the sides here so you have to approach this wisely good knock though i move up a little bit there you can see the other team here i'm trying to find the off angle i want to finish that uh if it was a uh wraith or an octane i'm not sure what it was yeah, it was a wraith uh but it's a bit difficult because of the glass here i have my q again soon but he does get the res off i even say they don't know about the hole <laughs> so I go for the hole but I didn't know about the hole, or rather they just managed to ad adapt real fast. It didn't set up for the hole, at the very least. I'm just backing up here a little bit, because the pressure is a little bit too much. Honestly, not the best Q. It gave us a little bit of information, but... You know, at a 20 plus second cooldown, I do have a gold helmet. It does uh, mean that you gotta be a bit more careful with it. We don't have to push if we don't want to, by the way. We can look for the kills, but zone doesn't even close here. So I even tell my teammates we don't have to fight here, we just play it out. See what happens. Uh, what we need to focus on is that in 40 seconds the zone closes and again these teams have been sitting here for like I've been talking we've been recording for over 17 minutes by the way if you're watching this far thank you so much make sure to hit that subscribe or follow button and uh, of course hit the like button I really appreciate that but yeah so th we've been here for 17 minutes and or whatever however long and yeah no these teams have been here the whole game but it doesn't end here like, they have to get either, uh, they have to rush, scramble to get to this side, or scramble to get to this side. And seeing as we are the closest team on this side, that should be us. We should be the team that has full control of that. There's a lot of nades. Very good punish there, but a lot of nades. Gotta be careful with it. I go for a very risky flank. Works out, but risky. I said I said risky a few times now, and it's true. I ult just so we can reset. For some reason, people just get scared when you ult. It gives us information that they, they don't want to rush into it. That allows us to get a little bit of space here to make a full recovery here. I'm just holding my teammates, as, you know, as much as I can. That guy's getting shot by a whole other team, and I can loot up a little bit. Because we've been, you know, we've been fighting for a long time. We don't have that much loot, honestly. Like, we're just scrapping by still. Uh, but I make the call there, we gotta go, we gotta move. Because the thing is, if we wait too long, like if we would wait, let's say, 10 more seconds here, yeah, we'd probably end up being able to walk in here as well. But the problem is, if we wait too long, another team will take this choke, and they can just easily hold us out. Which, uh, that's not a good thing. <laughs> so yeah, call them over here. We just gotta take, we'll be the team holding the choke and holding that team out. I spot them with my wall hack and with my passive, and I just, uh... Yeah, let's see if we can get the get the beam on him. Very confusing, by the way. So this ended up being a bit greedy, I think. Yeah, he even called me back, which is smart. I was already going back, but uh, definitely a good play here. Just back up. They will also probably die to zone here, because they overstayed hard. I'm just looking around with my wall hack. Yeah, he's fine. He's fine. So now we have full control of this. Obviously, there's a team here in front of me. Uh, this happens to be a rat I didn't know about, I think. <laughs> yep, some light there. I was just seven. So now we're in a top three situation. Let's see what happens. So they're fighting on the right side. So we notice a team on the right somewhere. We notice a team on the left somewhere. Um, gonna be a very awkward fight for us here, but let's just see how how we tackle it. Right now I'm just trying to get information about what's happening because the thing is like this high ground makes it really awkward to fight if they end up pushing right to the edge of the high ground. So we're just playing where we are right now and trying again to make the most of it. We are in zone for the next pull, so we're chilling. I'm just trying to put a little bit of damage in, I end up trading a little bit more. I'm getting out traded because of double swing on me. Horizon all in with her ultimate. So I'm just trying to make something happen with that opening, but yeah, it's time to back up a bit. Also because we know that if the offer on the table is juicy enough, this team will push. Well, I know that. I don't know if my team knows that. And that's exactly what happens. They start running around, trying to take some space, trying to third party. So I, I call them back a little bit to make a, you know, back up a little bit. I even call, I, I go all the way over here. I don't think to follow, but I realize we can just go all the way back here because what happened is they shoved up 
and it took that little bit of positioning that we had. It wasn't even that good. So now these two teams ended up. So we kind of like, um, I like to say, I like to say this a lot. You have in a top three situation, you, you, you have three teams, obviously. Usually there are two teams that have to fight. And the third team knows that they're the third team. And the third team knows, okay, we're going to have to third party this way. Um, but what you can do is you can instigate a fight and with one of the teams, doesn't matter which one, and pull out. And if you sell the bluff uh, hard enough, you force the enemy team to move in and make a mistake. And that's exactly what happens here. They ended up getting funneled in between me and my teammates and the other teams. My teammates are not out of the zone, but one team's up here. This team is like here in the middle and I'm coming around with the flank. So they actually went in with a catalyst here, I think. I'm not entirely sure what... I have no idea which team this was. I think this was the team from the right. It's turning into absolute chaos, I can tell you that much. And now it's uh, now it's a free free situation. I'm just putting an armor down on the floor. Uh, because, you know, I'm going to climb up here and take a peek. And I want to be able to hot swap just in case I manage to, do a manage to do a lot of damage on me. Which it do, almost clip me. I even calmed it. They did end up getting their drones on me. It would have been huge if they didn't. But they're still pressing their luck because they're like, oh yeah, we did a lot of damage. We should go on that massive beam. I'm backing up a little bit here. Because, I mean, I think it's probably like a 3v2 here or whatever. But they're going to want to overextend or trade me. And I don't want to be the guy getting traded. So I guess they're live here and reset. That increases our odds significantly. And now this seems to be probably a 1v1, 1v3 situation for the Wraith. Waste her entire mag, which means I can climb. She ended up reloading as well, but we got it. And that's how we won that from being stuck in one position for, I swear to God, Shiv, you're watching this, you can put the thing on the screen. I'm pretty sure we were in that situation for probably like 10 to 15 minutes. That was just constant action the whole time. So this isn't really like a solo to master video because I'm not soloing and it's not to master. It's like 2.6k damage with a car. Um, but nevertheless, just explaining my decision making. Again, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, check out Offstream Podcast. I'll link it in the description. Really appreciate you guys' support on that so far. Had a blast recording it. I'm uh, going to jump into a call with Garrett soon and uh, do another one. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow.